Three quarters of a million federal workers start the day without the promise of a paycheck, and the leaders who could put them back to work started the day without plans to negotiate. President Trump has no scheduled meetings with members of Congress today and blames the top Democrat in the House. While many Democrats in the House and Senate would like to make a deal, Speaker Pelosi will not let them negotiate. The president grounded today's overseas trip by the speaker and top Democrats, which included a secret visit with troops in Afghanistan. In a letter, he wrote, I'm sorry to inform you your trip to Brussels, Egypt and Afghanistan has been postponed. We think this is a completely inappropriate action. This is obviously an action directed at the speaker. Um, and we think, uh, as far as we can tell, this has never happened in the annals of congressional history. The White House says the president is scrapping his own trip to Davos for the World Economic Forum, citing the shutdown. Meanwhile, throughout the nation, air traffic controllers and TSA officers are among those working without paychecks. To say that TSA and is important or that national security is important and then not to pay the people that are actually performing service um, as TSA agents, I think that's not right. As many federal buildings and park sites remain closed for a 28th day. Scott McFarland, NBC News, Washington. The U.S. State Department is ordering its workers back come next week, saying it's found enough money to pay two weeks' salary for its employees. Scott McFarland, NBC News, Washington.